vlog. It's 9.30. Brody and I just got back from a freezing cold walk. Whoo! You know when your face is so frozen you feel like you can barely speak? This is happening right now. I wanted to show you. I could have just start off here so you can see how bundled I've been getting these days for Brody's walks. It's been so cold out. I'm wearing not one, but two puffer coats. My big long one. Then this Lulu one. Then I have leggings and sweatpants on top and a hat and mittens. Because you can probably tell by my voice, but I feel like I've been fighting off sickness. I don't think I'm really sick yet. I feel like I've just been having like a sore throat. Not really cough or anything, just kind of congested. You can definitely like, hear it in my voice. So I've been doing all the things, really bundling. Also went to Orange Theory this morning and I'm still wearing my gross workout clothes underneath all of this. But I figured I would just bundle up and walk him right when I got back. So, <laughs> this is really funny. I thought I'm in my tank top and now hat. I don't even wanna see what my hair looks like under here. Okay, I am gonna go shower right now and then make breakfast. Oh, clean and comfy. I actually just got this shirt in the mail from Revol. I love it so much. I actually have a light pink one and it's like my favorite thing ever. I never take it off. I feel like it's always dirty when I wanna wear it because I wear it like every day. It's in the wash, so I got another one. And it's just like a thermal that's so soft on the inside. It's like thick, but not too thick and just really comfy. And it's by the brand Boys Lie. I think it's one size, like it's just really oversized um, on Revolve. And I thought the back was so fun. This stuff about a psychic. If you know, you know I saw a psychic this summer, like so me. And I just think it's really cute. We're being comfy today, <laughs> as you can tell. I literally sound terrible, but I don't, feel that bad but I'm taking all the measures doing all the things you guys didn't even see I did like athletic greens this morning I feel like that has stuff for like immune support also this is what I do when I don't wear makeup like most days I just do the drunk elephant tanning drops with moisturizer on my face so I feel like I have like a little something I feel like I look really like greasy right now I also have a vitamin C serum on underneath like maybe that's why I look really shiny my hair is bothering me but I need to just get over it because I decided tomorrow is gonna be hair wash day so I just used a bunch of Olaplex number six and seven and kind of like slicked my hair, put it back in a clip because that way it can have a bunch of like oil and treatments in it, which will be good for hair wash tomorrow. Does anyone else think like me? Like I try to calculate like, okay, hair wash day. So I should put a bunch of oil in it like the day before. So I'm not going to like get all cute and ready and like look good. I guess I could do like a slick back look. And then I have to like plan in my workouts and like when I'm going to get really sweaty in my showers. It's so hard being a girl. Oh, and forget about it when you try to mix in like the self tanning schedule in there. Luckily I'm not self tanning right now. I'm like so pale. Well, my face probably looks tan because I have the drunk elephant tanning drops, but like I've never been so pale, but I'm not self-tanning because I'm doing laser hair removal and you can't self-tan. Anyway, I wasn't meaning to go on that long spiel. This is your forewarning in this vlog that I'm here alone. Max has gone for the next like three days on a road trip for hockey. I feel like they've had so many away games. I've been here alone so much, so you guys are my buddies. You're hanging out with me and I just feel like we're gonna spend so much time together the next couple days. Okay, this is what I want to show you. My breakfast, it doesn't look that good. I feel like it's melting. I need to have it quick. Also, I didn't put that much in here. I feel like I'll do like yogurt and granola and berries because I'll probably still be hungry. But I got smart today. I've never tried this before and it's really good. You guys should try. I was inspired by my Aunt Chris. Shout out Aunt Chris. I love her so much. She's literally the sweetest. She always texts me when she's like on a drive. She listens to my podcast. Like my mom's sister. I'm just obsessed with her. Anyway, she's really into like health and wellness. So I've always been so inspired by her. <laughs> This is what I mean, I'm feeling chatty. I was just trying to tell you about what I was doing and then I'm like, this brings me back to Chris. But actually though, she makes a shake every morning. She has her coffee and then with like the leftover of her hot coffee, she'll have like half a cup left. She's always done this. She puts it in the blender with a banana, maybe some ice. She uses this like chocolate protein powder superfood mix, blends it all up and she has that like every morning. And I've actually never tried it and I've always been inspired by her and I was like, you know what? After a workout in like a walk with Brody in the morning like I always like doing a smoothie or like banana with I've been loving this chocolate collagen I have it's just the vital, vital proteins chocolate collagen and it tastes so good to me here I'll show you the exact one that I have I've tried the plain the vanilla the lemon and I just like this one so much it tastes 
so good. I've been putting this in like so many smoothies and whatever. Also, I have a question for you guys. Max and I have had a debate about this. He says that collagen is different than protein, which I get it. Like I have like a protein powder and then we have like collagen powders. So I know they're different, but like if collagen is good for your skin, hair, nails, all that, it also has 18 grams of protein. So I'm like, why wouldn't you just do this if this has collagen and protein? Like this seems like a protein powder to me too. Isn't collagen protein? So why doesn't everyone just use collagen? And Max is like, maybe some collagen doesn't have that much protein, but like this one does. I don't know. So like, wouldn't this technically ran out of memory card space? That keeps happening. Uh, I need to go through my memory card, but it's cause I'm chatting for too long. So like, isn't this kind of a protein powder too? Can you guys like inform me? I guess I could Google it. But I don't know, I'm just confused. Anyway, I've been liking it is all I know. And I hadn't tried the chocolate one until recently. And I feel like I've been putting it in so much. So, all of this is to say. What I tried new is that I did a frozen banana in here. I did some cold brew. Okay, because that's my Aunt Chris does it, right? Some of her coffee. So, I can show you. Max has been making cold brew at home in this little jug thing and he had some left kind of looks scary you could see all the grounds in there and i actually had the end of it the other day and i felt like it was extra strong or there was almost some like grounds like in the bottom anyway i can link this for you guys because i actually got it for max as a present like years ago i got him a glass one and in the last year he dropped it at one point and it shattered I actually just got a new one because he kept being like oh i miss that so much like i wish i didn't break it bought a plastic one this time so recommend this one maybe over the glass one so that if you drop it, it doesn't break but Took some of this in the blender, <laughs> that's what I'm trying to say. Some coffee, a couple ice cubes, frozen banana, two scoops of this, and I feel like it's so good. Like this is such a good just little post-workout thing. But I was gonna add like normally in my smoothies, I do like banana, blueberry, almond butter, stuff like that. But I was scared that like with the coffee, maybe it wasn't gonna taste good. But yeah, like in the morning, I don't know, like the banana and the chocolate, like it's so good all together. Mm, yeah, that's all I had to tell you. And then I gave you like 10 other side stories. <laughs> Mm. Try this. I'm back. <laughs> you know the TikTok sound that's like, prepared to be sick of me. <laughs> that's me right now. Prepared to be sick of me in this vlog. But I thought this would be worthwhile to share. I, this isn't sponsored by them or anything, but I've just been trying out these hair vitamins because I've been really trying to focus on hair health. Like, you guys know, I'm washing my hair tomorrow. I've been trying to wash it only like once or twice. I usually do twice a week because I feel like I just can't do once, especially because it gets like sweaty when I work out, whatever. But I've been trying to be really good using like my oils and serums and everything. Like I use the Way Scalp Serum and I use their hair pills for a while, but I wanted to try these ones because I saw so many good things about these on, t uh, not TikTok, Instagram, Instagram stories. I saw like a bunch of people I follow talking about the JS Health Hair Energy little, not vitamins, what would you call these? Just hair pills. I don't know. So I've been trying to be good with these. I feel like I haven't been consistent, but I'm gonna start getting better, okay? It says to take after breakfast. Take one capsule a day with water after breakfast. So that's why we're gonna do this now. I also just got vitamin C from them as well. And literally I'm doing everything I can to not let this sickness occur right now. So we're gonna do it all, okay? We are gonna do one of these, I think. <sighs> so dramatic. Okay, and then I think vitamin C is two of these. I literally, my eyesight's getting bad. This is me when I look at everything. I should probably go to an eye doctor and get that like reevaluated. Like I've never worn glasses. But I feel like every day I'm like, I think it's from being on screen so much. Like on my phone or my laptop, I'm always like, afterwards. <laughs> oh, this is take one. Why did I think it was two? But it says serving size two tablets. Take one with water after food. Why are these after food? I thought that that didn't really matter. Do you feel like it's your stomach or something? Am I supposed to take one or two? You know what, I'm taking two. I can use as much vitamin C as I can go. But I'm gonna keep you guys updated on these and if I notice a difference. I'm gonna keep them right here in the kitchen so that I remember after breakfast I'm taking them every day. I wish I could take it at nighttime. It would be easy to remember because I always take my birth control pill when I brush my teeth at night. So it'd be easy to do it with that, but it says after breakfast. Do any of you guys take those or do you think it really matters what time? Also, like I said, I already, okay. We're doing all the things. I did my athletic greens, took some vitamin C. I've been going crazy with the tea. I also just got some juices and like immunity shots. This could be fun for us to do right now. Suja immunity defense shot with turmeric and probiotics. Like literally there is no way in heck I am getting sick if I'm doing all these things, if I drink a lot of water today, if I eat nutritious foods, if I go to bed early, right? Like there's no way. So we're just doing everything we can. This is about to burn. I haven't done one of these in a minute, but I feel like it will really help. Like usually your throat's like on fire, you know? Kind of nervous. 
Okay, ready? Coconut water, ginger juice, turmeric, brown, not brown pepper, black pepper, lemon juice. Here we go. Cheers. Okay, it's not great, but it's not horrible. Yep, the burn is coming on, setting in. I've taken some before though that literally your throat's on fire. That's just like a light, light burn. <laughs> not horrible, could have been a lot worse. When I, my congestion is gone later and I'm feeling wonderful, you guys will know why. You know what I'm manifesting? I feel great, I'm not congested at all. I am so healthy. I feel that I'm at peak wellness right now. <laughs> morning just finished my bar workout it's the next morning i didn't film the rest of yesterday because i felt like i filmed so much yesterday morning i didn't want to bore you guys wasn't doing anything fun brody was up on the couch he was trying to get my mat with me he was chewing on gritty a ton huh <laughs> oh also i wanted to say if you guys saw i opened some packages yesterday and one of the packages was this set right here this is the set active mad happy collab and i love it i think it's so cute you can see i think that's like the mad happy logo right there and it still says set i love this color it's like a dark blue gray and i just love set active i think this is so cute your breath kind of stinks <laughs> it's way later like way later like evening you guys i love how i was like i'm gonna like talk my little head off in this vlog it's gonna be so long which it probably still will be like i'm like i'm just gonna show all day long which i feel like i haven't been because i don't want this to be like boring i feel like i kind of messed up my bronze when i did it right there earlier it looks a little like splotchy anyway i have makeup on and I really like the way it turned out because I filmed a little TikTok. Ooh, by the time this is up, maybe the TikTok is up. I don't know. You guys will see the one. It's the only one of me doing my makeup, I think. Um, and I'm wearing this shirt in it, which, by the way, <laughs> embarrassing. My new blue shirt yesterday made me realize how it, it solidified in my brain that it quite literally is my favorite shirt of all time. So I wore my pink one today. Yeah, literally the same as yesterday. The boys lie, really soft on the inside, really oversized and cozy, but the back... It's just different. I don't know how you can see here. I'll set you up for a sec. What does the back say? I forget. Is it Cupid back there or something? I don't remember. But right now, I am eating leftover HelloFresh for dinner. I was gonna make my next recipe, which I'm so excited about. It looks so good, but then I got lazy. So I'm eating the rest of my leftovers of my last one. It's so tasty. It's this really yummy pasta. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. We're watching Max's hockey game. It's really quiet since I turned it down since I started vlogging, but yay They're up 2-0. It's been a crazy game. Max had an assist and also a fight I believe this is his second fight of all time professionally. He really is not a fighter Maybe I'll rewind <laughs> so you guys can see. Okay, I rewinded. I think it's somewhere around here. Yep, this is it Right here Ugh, it gets worse. <laughs> it's so scary. I hate that his helmet comes off right here. And this guy doesn't. Like, that's so unfair. Watch, they'll do it in slow-mo, but it looked like he got a pretty hard punch to the jaw. Now we're in a fight. <laughs> Number five. I'm mad at you. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But, like, ow. <laughs> this makes me scared. Okay, I think they're gonna show it. But yeah, basically, he went after this guy because he was standing up for his teammate right here. Ow, 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 ow. Look at his face. Ow. <laughs> My jaw hurts looking at that. Whew. Hopefully he has all his teeth is all I have to say. Hey, Brody. Hey, say I hope you have your teeth, Dad. <laughs> okay, I feel like there's about to be an empty netter since they pulled their goalie. Let's see. I hope Max gets it. Come on. Come on. Pass it to Max. <laughs> oh, here we go. No? Yay! Finally! I knew it was coming. Woo! Yay! Also, <laughs> hang on. It was horrible timing trying to take a bite and eat and speak at the same time. What did I want to say? 
Sorry, I'm feeling like so tired right now. You know when you are looking at a screen all day long, like my eyes are literally twitching. Like I've been looking at my phone all day long, doing my TikToking on my computer, answering emails, whatever. My eyes just ache and then I'm like looking at the TV to watch a game, but I'm like, oh my gosh. See an early bedtime in my future. This is what I was gonna say, is that. I, uh, do they like look red? I think my eyes get all red too. Okay, now I'm like sounding sicker. I feel like I sound worse in the morning and at night. So I have like a little bit of a cough going. It's more of just like a tickle in my throat. Oh, I also didn't even show you guys. In full transparency, I started to get scared because I'm so congested, right? I had a COVID test laying around. So I took it and it was negative. So that's good news. That was something that happened today. Negative. I'm sure it's just a cold. Anyway, that's what's happening. I'm still not like seeing anyone. Like I was going to try to see if I wanted to watch the game with some girls. But I was like, yeah, that's not for the best. If I'm feeling like this, I'm not trying to get anyone sick. Mm. What I was going to say is that yesterday, for over three hours, I finally set up an Amazon storefront, you guys. Woo! Announcement! Finally, yay! I get asked that quite a lot. Like, do you have an Amazon storefront? What's your Amazon storefront link? And I don't think I had one until now because I just never set it up. And I would, like, link things from Amazon. But I don't think I ever set up, like, a storefront of all the categories of, like, my favorites and things that I ordered, you know? So, yeah, it took me, like, over three hours because I went through my purchase history all the way back to 2017 and literally added everything and anything to my storefront to try to be helpful for you guys. I categorized it by like kitchen, home, beauty, brody things, footwear, shoes, like uh, like literally every category of everything. Cleaning is in there and I'm gonna add the link to like every YouTube description so that people can find it because I don't know if there's a way on Amazon that you can look up storefronts. Like I tried typing my name like nothing comes up. I think you literally just have to have the link. So I'm gonna add it to every YouTube video description going forward. So I'll be linked down below if you ever wondered where something is from or want to know my favorite things that I purchased on Amazon. They're all in there. Finally. Yay. That's like an exciting announcement for me. Maybe it's not exciting for you guys, but for me it is because I've wanted to do it for so long and it took so long, but it was kind of like fun. Like I really just got in the groove of like adding all the things and categorizing them. I was like so focused. Anyway, that's that. That's my update. I think I'm going to take off my makeup and go to bed. What do you think, B? <laughs> it's the next day. All you guys missed so far is woke up, walked Brody, went to the gym, showered, put on comfy clothes. Here we are. That's literally it. That's all I did today. I cannot believe it's already 2 o'clock. I'm like, where has a day gone? Well, I know where it's gone. <laughs> Because Brody and I slept in today. But you know what? This cold situation that's going on needs to go. So I'm happy. I wrote in my gratitude journal this morning. I'm so grateful that I'm able to sleep in when I feel like my body needs it. I feel like a lot of people don't have that flexibility with their work, with their children, things like that. So I'm, I don't know, I'm just being very grateful for that. This chapter of my life that I have so much flexibility, so much independence when I need to like take some me time, if that's sleeping in, if that's self care, do you know what I mean? Anyway, I'm going on a tangent, but I just feel very grateful for that. I don't take it for granted because I'm sure later in life when I have more responsibilities, I'll be like, remember when I was 25 and I get to stay up late and sleep in and like do whatever I want to do. I really love my independence. Anyway, this is a whole long chat to say I am starving, okay? It's lunchtime. I'm so excited. I was telling you guys that this is what I was going to cook for dinner last night and I got lazy. This is one of my most favorite HelloFresh meals of all time. The crispy kicking cayenne chicken cutlets. Here we go. This is only going to take 30 minutes. Fast and easy, thank goodness, because I'm about to eat my arm. But they also have like fast and fresh recipes that are ready in 15 minutes or less, which is so nice. It's so easy to customize if you need to switch your delivery day, your meal preferences, if you want to do the two servings, the four servings. I really like also you can add like an extra protein, an extra side. It's just really easy to customize. Why don't I get it out, shall we? I'm just like chatting away, but you guys know I've had my HelloFresh subscription for years now, especially in the new year. It's really helping me stick to my goal of eating out less, less takeout, less delivery, which really adds up and gets so expensive. And I just feel like with HelloFresh, you're gonna have really high quality, yummy meals. And it's not gonna break the bank because you're not ordering Postmates every day. <laughs> you know what I mean? So you save money, you're eating really well. There's over 35 recipes to choose from each week. I always just scroll through my app each week and pick out new ones, pick out some of my all time favorites. And there's something for everyone. There's like carb smart, calorie smart. Again, like so easy to customize. So I'm just gonna get this all out, get cooking. And last thing, I think they gave me a new code for you guys, which is like my best code ever, I believe. Go to hellofresh.com and use my code GGYT21. You'll get 21 free meals and free shipping. I think that's like the most 
free meals that I've ever had, like the best offer. So definitely take advantage if you've always seen me talk about it, if you've always heard about them but you've never tried it, GGYT21, don't forget, because that's gonna help you save a lot of money. And now, you can't even see, but we are gonna get cooking. Look at how good this looks. Now I'm being a gourmet chef for lunch. Normally I do HelloFresh for dinner, but today I've been craving this ever since I wanted it last night. So I was like, I'm just gonna make it for lunch. Also, I always have leftovers. So I honestly may just have the same thing for dinner. I know that's boring, but especially this recipe is like my favorite. It's so good. Look at this chicken. It's like a buffalo, kind of spicy chicken, like a buffalo sauce. I also put some honey on there too. Mashed potatoes. I love green onions, like scallion greens on top is so good. Green beans, like literally these are all my favorite things. So I'm gonna dig in. <laughs> uh, excuse me. The second my fork goes into my green bean, someone's face shows up on my leg. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. So good, you guys. Don't forget, HelloFresh, link down below, GGYT21. P.S. If any of you haven't tried this recipe, you must. Even for the chicken alone, it's the best chicken ever. <sighs> it's later. I need to take, take a deep breath right now. Feeling like so... <sighs> Overwhelmed. I don't know why I get like this. I feel like it's just like in my personality and who I am I feel like my mom gets really overwhelmed. My sister does too. I don't know. Maybe it's genetic Maybe it's everybody nowadays like everyone has so much going on and probably over commits their time in every way And like the phone's distracting you and I'm just having one of those moments where I feel like so overwhelmed And I'm almost like mad at myself because I'm like Gretchen you're literally here alone with like you and Brody Why are you overwhelmed? Like I don't know. It's like when Max goes on the road. I'm like good like this is such a time for me to be so productive and like be so efficient and so I think I have like such high expectations and like standards for myself and I want to like be working all day long and if I get behind in the slightest way or look at my to-do list and I'm like oh my gosh there's so many things on there that I wanted to do yesterday like I literally feel like I'm gonna cry I get so overwhelmed so easily and then I'm like it's not that deep like you put all this pressure on yourself but like if you don't like vacuum and clean your entire apartment today it's all gonna be okay in my head i'm like no 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 like i need to do that i don't know i get like overwhelmed really easily like i kept saying so i'm trying to like pull myself out of that right now and i'm honestly inspired by i feel like i know this about myself but also this was like re-solidified in my head that this is such a thing when i saw allison kutch allison kutch's story instagram story yesterday <laughs> We knew I would need her words so much today. And it was like her being like, saying that she was about to have a panic attack and she felt so overwhelmed. Maybe it was on TikTok and it was her husband being like, Allie, you gotta get out of the house. You need to like take a step away for a second. We need to get a coffee. You need to go outside. You need to just like take a break and like reset your brain. And I kind of like feel like that right now. So I made a matcha cause I was like, oh, I'll go get a coffee and like go to the dog park with Brody. And then I was like, no Gretchen, your New Year's resolution is to drink Starbucks less. Also, if I'm starting to feel like overwhelmed and then it kind of leads into anxiety. Coffee makes me feel anxious and it's afternoon. And so I'm like, okay, make a matcha at home. So that's what I did and I brought it with me. I added a bunch of cinnamon. Honestly, it's good, but it would be better if it was oat milk. <laughs> yeah, my favorite oat milk I'm out of right now. So I had to use 
Max's almond milk. Thank you, Max, for letting me use your almond milk. I guess it's ours, but I feel like he always uses almond milk. Almond milk, I use almond milk. Anyway, so I have my drink. We're gonna go get some outside time. It's like nice, soft afternoon lighting now, and it's gonna be really nice to like see the sunset and go to the dog park, but I don't know. I feel like I just wanna be real because I'm like, la la la, life is so good. I'm so independent, like spending so much time alone. It's so nice, and I feel like I do get to do so, do so much like work wise and also like I write my intentions at the beginning of the day and I am like I want to stop work at a certain time so I can like take time for me which has been new and kind of like challenging to just like shut off my phone take a bath do skincare read like cuddle up on the couch like I kid you not most times when Max isn't here even when he is here I like barely sit on the couch like I do not sit all day long like I'm going 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 that's just like my personality but it felt nice to like make myself sit on the couch at the end of the day and like take a moment like I'm never just like alone doing nothing relaxing I always have like 8,000 things going on which is I feel like I'm overwhelmed like I'm never like not on my phone or you know what I mean oh, I feel like a scatter brain right now but I'm gonna take a moment to breathe and then we're gonna go to the dog park okay took some deep breaths it probably seemed like a psycho right now but I don't know if any of you get all like worked up like this like I don't want to have like a freaking anxiety attack over here sometimes maybe that is an anxiety attack I don't know it just feels like it's hard for me to catch my breath you know you don't know what I'm talking about but he's like can we go already <laughs> what was I saying that I feel like, yeah, spending time alone. I've spent so much time alone. It's been really good for my independence. And I honestly feel like, you guys know, I've made like leaps and bounds when it's come to being independent. Like before, if you told me I was going to spend like three or four days alone without seeing anyone, which obviously I do see people like my neighbors and my workout instructors and I can make plans with friends if I want to. But like I would have had a freak out and now I'm like good with my time alone and I feel like... I've gotten so good at like keeping myself company like enjoying my own company was such like a big concept for me and like being okay on my own but I think with that comes overthinking and like worrying because I'm just alone with my thoughts and so I feel like I just overthink every step of the way and I just like having someone there to physically be like you're okay everything's okay that's just in your head or like give you a hug it just is like all the difference when you're starting to like freak out I don't know if anyone knows what I mean also separate from this I feel like like deep down I've just been feeling like a sadness recently and I don't even want to talk about it because I feel like I'm just gonna start crying and I don't want to start crying but in full transparency and realness I've been thinking about this since a couple days ago it randomly hit me I was in the car with Max maybe a song was on it made me think of my dad or something made me think of my dad and if like I mean still I mean it's been years now but like songs or places or smells or people like certain anything can like trigger a memory of him and I always will bring him up in conversation with Max and I always talk about him sometimes I still talk about him in present tense and I it's just like a habit you know it just hit me and I was in the car with Max and I was like wait a minute like I don't know I'm gonna cry but I was like did my dad like ever meet your sister and he was like oh like I don't know and then it just hit me and I was like so sad I'm like I don't think my dad like ever met Max's sister he might have met his parents once at like a hockey game but I really don't think he ever met his sister and I'm like that makes me so sad just like that realization made me start crying and obviously it's making me cry right now because I don't know if any of you relate but if any of you have lost like an immediate family member or someone you're really close to the years that go by and like the new people in your life that you meet it's just so weird to me that they don't know my dad like my new friends here in Allentown I'm like I want my dad to meet my friend Nikki and Gracie and I want to be able to talk to him about them and like you know what I mean it's just really weird like how life moves on and not being able to tell him about new people in my life and things going on and just the fact that like he hasn't met people that have become and will become like important to me just feels wrong and really weird and it's been bringing me down I don't want my sister like someone that I'm so close to to like hang out with my dad like they would be besties oh just like everything makes me think of him cooking lunch makes me think of him he was literally the best cook ever and i want to send him a picture of my whole fresh that i did such a good job with because he would be so proud and like he would eat it with me and love it you know 
I said I wasn't gonna cry. But I'm like the type of personality, like I feel so much better when I like let it out. Like I feel like when I was talking before, I just, I'm kind of like dancing around it and I'm like, okay, but also this is like an underlying deep sadness issue. I just feel better when I let it out. <laughs> We're just being really real and really honest. And like, I never know, like obviously I lost my dad like over three years ago now. So I don't want to bring him up all the time, like as often as I used to when he first passed away. Cause I don't want my content to just be sad. Like I'm such like a positive girly on social media and I want to stay that way. Cause like I am in real life too. Like 99% of the time I'm happy, but I don't know. I just feel like I need to be real. I just don't always want to like vlog when I'm sad, like thinking about my dad and stuff, you know? But he's like laying in the back. <laughs> You can't even see him. Where are you when I need you? Can you come cuddle with me? Normally when I start crying, I feel like he like jumps on top of me to comfort me. But he, he's like, all I know is you promised the dog part. Let's go. Okay, see, I already feel better. Just let it out. I'm gonna drink my matcha. I'm gonna drive, listen to some good pump up jams. We're gonna go to the dog park. It's gonna be the perfect reset that I need. Yeah, that's the plan. Okay, let's go. Feeling better already. <laughs> Later, I'm doing much better. I actually just ran into a bunch of my neighbors and we chatted for a while and it put me in like the best mood. Sometimes you just need a little bit of socialization mixed in with independence. Doing much better. I think another part of, re another part of that reason that I'm doing better, another reason that I'm doing better is because I have another yummy drink <laughs> that I'm focusing on. Nothing like <laughs> a nice drink to get happy and excited about. I feel like I've never been a drink girl. Like my whole life I've always just drank water and then becoming an adult I'm like drinks are fun you know anyway you guys know I've loved poppies forever this like sounds sponsored it's not I wish poppy sponsor me I love you there was a time where I had to drink at least one every single day like I was spending all my money on poppy I'm like okay this is getting a little out of hand but I love them they're so good and I believe the cola and root beer are classic cola are like newer flavors by them and i have been so into them the cola the root beer they're both so good i don't even know if i can pick one that i like more than the other i just love both the cola tastes like diet coke to me but better like diet coke doesn't even taste good to me anymore because this tastes that much better the root beer might be number one though like that's how good the root beer is and also i think another reason it makes me happy is because i put it in my cute little glass with my cute little glass straw it's the little things you know mm. You guys have to try, especially if you're like a soda girly that like is addicted and can't stop. This could be so good for you to try and I just feel like there's more health benefits. There's like prebiotics or probiotics or something. So you might as well give it a try. And I wasn't even a soda gal, but these just taste so good to me. Like it tastes like fizzy and like a fun drink like soda, but like cleaner because there's like apple cider vinegar in there, but it doesn't taste like apple cider vinegar at all. I don't know. All I know is that it's good and good for you. <laughs> it's the next day. Good morning. Brody, can you see you under there? And I've had a lovely morning. Although it's so dreary out, I just tried to turn up the exposure on this. You guys could actually see the clothes I'm showing you, but it's so like rainy and dreary out dreary outside it's funny that i'm like we had such a good morning because i literally walked him in the rain but i just feel like some movement i've been doing some cleaning and tidying and stuff has just put me in a good mood we're doing a lot better than last night yesterday afternoon okay so i thought i would do a little revolve haul for you guys right now because i have been big shopaholic these past couple months this is collective this is not all at once but i think like i haven't properly showed all you guys and i thought this would be fun i know a lot of you love when i show like things i'm buying clothes i'm buying everything like that i've it all like organized on the counter right there i'll try not to make this way too long wait brody i just okay well this is a fail that <laughs> You guys know I just, or maybe you didn't know, but I just washed this couch fully and I've been really good at like putting a blanket, see those blankets in the corner, on top of it before Brody lays on it. And you literally were all wet and muddy in the rain. So if this couch is getting dirty right now, I'm gonna be so mad at you. But I like wiped him down pretty well. I think he's dry by now. You know, I'm just not gonna think about it. It's totally fine. Okay, let's just jump on into it. All these pieces I'm showing you guys, I will link down below. See, now it looks way too bright. <laughs> Hang on. Okay, is that better? Anyway. First off, especially if these pieces are still available, which hopefully most of them are, but some of them I might have gotten like a month or two ago, maybe they're sold out. But this dress in specific, we're starting off strong. I think it's so dang cute. And I got this specifically for an event, for a wedding coming up this summer that we're gonna go to. And I just thought this screamed like a cute summer wedding dress. I gotta clean this mirror. Gosh dang it, it looks dirty. I think like no matter how much I clean my mirrors, they look dirty. So it's like this dark green. I feel like I always end up wearing this like dark kind of emerald green to weddings. And I like the 
like a layered look of it, this strapless. That would be so good for a summer wedding, right? Like adorable, we love. I'm laughing how Brody was just like, I wanna be a part of the fun. I wanna be in the back of this haul. How can I make this about me? Okay, these next two dresses I'll talk about very briefly because you've seen this before if you guys saw my Christmas Eve vlog, I believe it was, but this just needed another moment. It needed an honorable mention. Shout out. This might be like one of my favorite dresses, honestly. I love like the style of it, the details, the cut. I just think it's so flattering and so cute and just kind of like fancy looking and really pretty. So this is one of my most fave dresses. Again, everything will be linked down below in the description. This dress also really deserved her moment right here because look at her. She is the moment. So shimmery and shiny and she actually was my honorable mention runner-up second place option on New Year's Eve. I kind of wish I wore her on New Year's Eve. Her. <laughs> because it's such a New Year's dress, like so shiny and shimmery. I gotta find something I can wear this to coming up that it would like make sense. All I can think of, are you getting that couch dirty boy? Probably. He literally just moved into the frame. He's like, I'm not getting in this shot. Like, get me in this shot. <laughs> we have Max's birthday coming up. Maybe like his birthday dinner I'll wear this. And I'll be like, how can I make this about me? Wear the most shiny in your face dress I could buy. Don't no, kidding, but this is so cute. And on my TikTok, I got so many questions being like, where is that blue dress from? It's perfect. Revolve. You guys, this is such a struggle right now because I love this black dress. This is one of the newer dresses I got. I literally just tried it on for the first time today. Just came in. I'm obsessed with it. I think it's so cute. Obviously, like the cross neck detail in the front, like the white on the top and the black. Okay, the issue is, as you can probably tell, I, I can't button it in the back because it's just me alone <laughs> right here right now. And it's like tight around my neck. I literally can't do it without someone else so sorry but you get the gist it's like really cute and I feel like it was a little bit more affordable too see what I mean like I just can't do that in the back so <laughs> this one I also got very recently right before New Year's as an option to wear for New Year's Eve and actually my twin sister ended up wearing this black dress on New Year's Eve just the most perfect little black dress simple to just have in your closet throw on I feel like this always comes in handy this type of nice little black dress a little scandalous but when you're flat as a board um, <laughs> there's nothing really going on up top and I also will say as someone who is 5'9". The length is great on this. Like, usually little mini dresses like this always give me anxiety. I'm like, oh no, it's not gonna be long enough. And this one, the length is good, so we love. Guess I'm really into these mini dresses because I feel like this is a pretty similar style to the last one. Still has that cool little, like, detail on the front, but it's just not as deep. Has the straps as well. And just, like, a white little bodycon mini dress. Like, this one I really can't wear until the summer since it's white, but I just thought it was so cute. Okay, we're finally through all the dresses onto an outfit that's a little bit more seasonal appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Brody looks cozy. I'm actually going to a girls' dinner this weekend, like a big group of girls, and I feel like this would be perfect. So first, I guess we can start with this top. I don't know if you can even see through the dirtiness of the mirror here. Can, oh yeah, now you can see. See how it's like this textured material? I just thought it was like unique, different. I love like basics with a little twist, so it just is kind of like a textured look, like a long sleeve top. I feel like this was also pretty affordable. Then these pants are the opposite of affordable however I've been eyeing them for a while they're like real leather so that tells you they're pretty expensive actually very expensive but they're kind of like cargo style and I just thought were so cute I love how high-waisted they are they fit me like a glove so maybe if you're shorter these would like go up to your neck because I feel like they're very high-waisted but for me they're so good they just go right over my belly button and yeah they're like the cargo style I just love everything about them they're like a straight leg fit hit me like right at the ankle and I love they're like even better in person than I thought they would be. I gotta figure out like a jacket and boots to wear with this, but I feel like I always end up wearing like all black whenever I go out to dinner or go to an event or something because I know it'll look good, I know it'll look sleek, it'll go together, I'll feel the best. And if I ever end up wearing something that isn't all black and I try to like match and make it cool, I just wish that I was wearing all black. <laughs> Does anyone relate? Okay, maybe I should have been showing you guys the outfit this way the entire time. I feel like it's maybe a little bit easier to see. Like black is just so hard to see, you can't see the details. But next up I just got these sweater pants. Can you see like the material of them? It's just like a sweater. I'm sure you can <laughs> hear it. <laughs> but yeah, they're just like sweater, long, really thick knit kind of like flare pants. And it actually has a matching like corset. Kind of, not corset, just like strapless little tube top to go with. But I wanted to see how I like these first. So I actually just ordered the top to go with. It's on its way. But I just thought they were so cute. And I feel like a comfy pair of like nice like sweatery pants you could dress up, dress down would be really nice, right? 
Fits are not like super flattering because they're very like thick, but they're so, so comfy. Okay, this is one of those things that when you guys shop in Revolve, I feel like a lot of times things will sell out and you can go on the list to be notified when things are back in stock. And this set is one of those things that I battled for. There's like a couple of things that I get so determined. I'm like, it's the cutest thing ever, I need it. It'll be out of stock and right as I get the email, like notified that it's back in stock, which I always get one in the next couple days. So that's like my life hack. You guys should know if any of these are sold out, just like put your email in because it might come in back in stock really soon. But yeah, that's literally how I got these pants, the green dress. I looked for it for so long and it finally came back in stock and I snatched it up really quick. The first one I showed you guys. Anyway, yeah, I think I had this shirt and I really wanted the matching pants. They were sold out, so I snatched them up real quick and it's just like a silky material. I don't know if you can tell. But yeah, I've been trying to get into like fun pants because I feel like I only ever wear jeans, leather pants, and so I got those like knit sweater pants. These are like silky type pants and both the top and the bottom is like tie in the back which i think is cool there's like buttons on top up here it's like very very cropped but yeah i just think it's so cute together and i loved it so much i got it in this like cream champagne kind of color too i guess cream you could say i know it needs a really good steam so don't come for me i also was struggling with the sizing on the bottoms like the black ones i feel like are almost too big i got a medium and then these i got a small and i feel like they're almost too tight so i don't know i feel like i truly am between a small and a medium does anyone else relate like you feel like you are perfectly between two sizes because i feel like a small is always like a little snug and medium is like a little roomy and like I'm going to go right in between so I don't know I always just kind of guess and <laughs> we'll get either. I think like I usually end up with a medium because I'd much rather be like comfy and have a little more room than it be like tight you know. But I just felt like the black was big but then these I don't know. Like I feel like it's kind of tight across my butt. Anyway also <laughs> don't mind I was lazy I didn't like button the top up all the way but it like buttons all the way there also has like shoulder pad details yeah this is so wrinkly just imagine it steamed and like luxurious and silky and flowing looking i just love these sets i think they're like so chic with like like a fur coat on top or something imagine I don't know, I feel like you could really like make it more winter, more summer with a pair of heels. Also, I'm just, I've never felt more pale in my life. I think all of these pieces I would like on me a lot more if I had a little bronze going on, a little self-tan moment. Um, but it's what it is since I'm getting laser hair removal, so that's how it has to be. Okay, last but certainly not least, we have this top, which I feel like this is so out of my comfort zone. It's very like funky and patterned and like a fun style. And I don't have anything like it, but I was just drawn towards it. I don't know why, I just feel like it's fun and like chic looking, like white jeans in the summer, right? Isn't it kind of cute? It's like silky, just feels really nice. It like ties. I didn't even realize there was like a little cutout in the middle, but yeah. Like, I love it. I think it's so cute. I love how it's like, oh yeah, this revolve haul, I'm gonna be like super snappy. I'll be really quick. It probably took forever. So I'm actually gonna end off this vlog here because I feel like it's so long already and I don't wanna bore you guys, <laughs> but I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching this vlog and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.